you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. And a special welcome to those who haven't vis visited the Senate before. I was just speaking to some people at the back there, and I know it's their first visit. Um, so thank you very much for inviting me uh, to help you celebrate both World Mental Health Day and the success of service user-led Taking the Wheel campaign. It's always a real pleasure to be able to support, support events like this. Um, I understand that Jane Hutt, who's the Assembly Member for the Vale of Glamorgan and Leader of the House and Finance Minister, has sponsored today's event, but unfortunately she's having to speak at another event. World Mental Health Day is such an important and positive event. It promotes open discussion and helps to raise global awareness, recognises the impact of mental health and also addresses stigma and discrimination. With mental health being such a priority, I believe it's very important we all continue to support this annual event. The Taking the Wheel initiative shows the benefits of joint working between the third sector organisations such as Havel, MDF, the Bipolar Organisation and the Mental Health Foundation. And you're quite right, I really enjoyed um, <laughs> my experience of Taking the Wheel at the Ice Surfer. Um, I won. Um, I'm not quite sure if everybody wins when they're driving, but I won and that's uh, all that matters. Um, and I just think camper vans are fantastic anyway, and it really draws people in. And the fact, you know, that this taking the wheel is such a wonderful metaphor for people in recovering from uh, mental health difficulties. Service users, carers, and third sector organisations all play a key role in supporting people with mental health problems and in helping to improve services right across Wales. You are all instrumental in empowering service users families and their carers and promoting a recovery-based approach to the management and treatment of mental health illnesses. I believe it's vital that we remain committed to ensuring mental health services focus on the recovery model. As a government we will continue to drive forward our manifesto commitments to ensure patients are provided with individualised care plans, review access to talking therapies, improve provision of dementia services and crisis teams, and another of our commitments is to use the legislative powers of the mental health measure. From next year, the measure will introduce mental health support services available within primary care in all local authority areas, integrated with general health services provided by general practitioners. Individual care and treatment plans informed and approved by service users and their carers within secondary mental health services and I've spoken to service users, particularly the group from Wrexham, on many occasions and I know how important those individual care and treatment plans are. There will be an entitlement to request assessment for those discharged from services and an expanded statutory advocacy scheme. The Welsh Government is fully committed to ensuring the measure policies are successfully delivered and we are working closely with service providers to this end. We've recently announced timescales for implementing these provisions. These are designed to ensure health boards and local authorities are able to effectively plan and prepare to meet the duties which will fall to them under the new legislation. We will review the operation of the measure over the coming years. We will publish a report based on its findings four years after the relevant measure provisions come into force. By monitoring the impact the measure has made, we will then be able to identify where we've been successful and where our approach can be approved. I hope our commitment to publish a report on our conclusions also demonstrates our willingness to continually seek better ways of working. Over the coming months, my officials will be undertaking further public consultations on guidance and regulations which we are introducing to support the operation of the measure and I'm sure you'll all be involved in that process. So thank you again for inviting me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day here. And I also look forward to continuing to work very closely with you all during the months and years ahead. Together, we can work to ensure that our mental health services here in Wales continue to develop and improve. Thank you very much.